Hey friends, Samantha here from Fun Hands On Learning. And today I'm going to do a video showing you all the different alphabet manipulatives that we use um, with our learning. So I have quite a few different um, alphabet letters and I want to talk to you about them, show you what we have and kind of tell you which ones are my favorite and why. And maybe um, you might enjoy getting these manipulatives too. These are great to use with any curriculum, but especially I have um, designed my curriculums to um, really pair well with a lot of letter manipulatives like my phonics for reading curriculum and my um, hands-on to learn preschool curriculum or my kindergarten literacy curriculum. All of them um, would go wonderful with any of these manipulatives, but any kind of curriculum you have or any learning that you're doing, um, doing it with hands-on, manipulatives is an awesome way to go now if you are if you like this video and you um, want to see my stash of number manipulatives let me know in the comments down below and I will do another video um, showing you all of that all right so let's get into it and let me just kind of show you my manipulatives so and the talk first about set this. of letters that I have are actually unifix cubes normally you see these in math when kids are learning to count you can put them together and you can count or do math, uh, like addition, subtraction. But what I did is I purchased this set that actually has letters on them. And the vowels are red, as you can see here, and the consonants are blue. So if the child is going to make the word, let's say they're gonna make the word cat, they would have a C. Now, one side is capital, and then the other side is lowercase. So they would obviously be using the lowercase letters and the same goes, you can see here on the letter A, I have lowercase, capital. So they just click them together, and I absolutely love these. Now, one of the things that we use these a lot for are when we need our letters to be small. So if we're working on a worksheet or an activity where the word needs to be smaller, then we a lot of times pull these out. Also, I like using these if we're going to be changing the sound. So here we have cat, and then if I want them to make the word bat, they just have to change one letter, and they just go ahead and put it together. Now they made bat, and now I say, okay, let's take off the um, last letter, and let's think of a word we can make. Then now we can make, instead of bat, we could maybe make ban. So then they could do that or however I want to do it. But um, yeah, so we really like these because we can click them together and they can really see how the word just goes together. And again, I like how small they are, so we use them on smaller um, activities. Now, I would not use these with preschool kids. I, I am going to show you the uh, all of my letters, so you're going to see some that I definitely would use with preschool. But these ones I would um, stick to probably students, maybe kindergarten and up for these ones, just because they're smaller letters. Okay, so okay. these are the Flip It books from the unit on beginning blends in my um, phonics for reading program. And look at Mark, very good. St in stamp, S-T, can you say it? St, very good. And these blocks, these letter blocks work really, really well with these Flip It books, don't All they? All right, so this set of letters is, you can hear my little one in the background, sorry. Hi. This set of letters are blocks, and so these are definitely ones that I would use with preschoolers. And probably, if you're a mom, you probably have these from your child's um, baby years. And I like these ones. These ones are um, a set from Melissa and Doug. Capital on one side, lowercase on the other side. Um, the colors don't really, I mean, the vowels are different colors and the, and the consonants are different colors. So they don't have the um, difference between the vowels and the consonants. But I really like these for big things. You can spell things going up and down. So again, I'm gonna use that cat example that um, I used before. Oh, you can't really see that. And you can stack them up and down on top of each other if you want. Like so, or like so. Obviously, you know how blocks work. And um, I just really like these. Now, I have a few activities that I specifically made where the um, they're missing letters or whatever, and the students have to um, put in the missing letters, and I made the squares the exact size to fit these. Now, you don't have to have 
um, blocks like these to do the activities, but it just makes it a lot more fun. And if you've seen some of my other videos, you may have seen how I've used these in the past. I'm not going to go in this video, I'm not going to go in depth on how we use them because um, if you watch my other videos, my activity videos, you will see me pull out all the different letters at different times and you can see how we use them. Um, and if I did go into that in this video, this video would be so long, it would it'd be forever. So um, I'm just going to quickly run through and, and tell you, we don't use these black ones a ton, but they are a lot of fun and you will see them in some of my videos and you've probably seen them in the past. Or if you haven't, go back and check out some of my activity videos, especially my ones on literacy and reading and that, and you may see us use those. Okay, so now something else that I absolutely love to do is I love to use letters from puzzles because they're wooden and they're nice and hard and hearty. And so here you see in this box, these are alphabet letters from Melissa and Doug puzzles. They're all, I have three or four sets of the same exact puzzle. And so that way, that that's how you see that I have, you know, more than one um, of each letter. So I have, I think three sets three or four sets of this puzzle and one of the reasons for that is that my kids when I bought it um, they were fighting over it so I got separate sets of the puzzle so that they could have their own set and then we ended up putting the letters in here and we use them for so many things and um, hopefully you've seen some of my other videos and you've seen how I've used these now I like these ones because they have the um, little knobs on them so they're great for preschoolers um, who are working with their letters and their letter sounds. So that I love. It's just a great little, um, I don't know, addition so that they can, you know, it helps with their little fine motor skills too because they got to use their little pincher grasp to grasp the letter by the, um, by the little knob. And uh, we do use it with the puzzles, but we also use it for so many other activities. So I love taking puzzle pieces. And I'm going to show you a few other uh, examples of alphabet puzzle pieces as well. So these are the ones that have the knobs. And then, get this one. This set uh, is also from a Melissa and Doug puzzle, but these ones are like chunky letters. I don't know if you can see. See how that D is like kind of chunky or the M? It's kind of chunky. These are like chunky alphabet letters and they go with a puzzle and um, they came with capital and lowercase. So I like that I have um, two of every letter, capital and lowercase, and we pull these out and just, again, use them for tons of different activities. I like these for little hands because they are chunkier, um, and so, yeah, so that's, that's another example of using puzzles, and I have, let's see, a third example of puzzles. <laughs> Hi, you are being loud today. My goodness. Sorry, guys, I, um, if you don't know, if you've never seen any of my videos, I'm a mother of seven children, and so yeah, you're gonna hear kids in the background. And that, so as I was saying, you're probably going to hear background noise in my videos, and I apologize for that, but one of the things is that when you're a mom, um, you don't have a lot of time to yourself. And so I have to do my videos when the kids are, for the most part, um, occupied. But I, I have lots of little ones too. I have. Oh, a one-year-old, I have an infant, I have a three-year-old with special needs, I have, and then my kids go up in age from there, I have um, one that just turned five, I have one that's six, I have, uh, and then my older two are um, 10 and 12. So I have a lot of kids and I've had really sometimes some nasty comments on my videos and I just delete them, <laughs> to be honest. If you're gonna leave, if you're gonna watch a video and you feel the need to leave a nasty comment, I don't understand people. I really don't understand it. But I've had comments like, I can't stand your videos because I hear your kids in the background. Well, then don't watch my videos. I'm sorry, but I'm a mom and that's how it's gonna be. I, I really wish that I had like a studio and you wouldn't hear anything in the background like you can hear right now my baby just started crying. Um, so I think I'm probably gonna have to stop and come back. But my rant about this is that if you don't like hearing my kids in the background then turn off the video. Like why do you find it time in your life to like comment on my videos and tell me how horrible it was because you heard my children in the background or you heard noise or music in the background. I just then don't watch. I don't get, I don't understand people. But anyways, 
Um, but I love most of you. I sent, give me the best, nicest, sweetest comments ever, and I really, really love it. And so I try not to get bogged down on the people who um, just have to have something negative to say. So I'm doing my best here, guys, and I will continue to do my best in my videos to bring you content that is not all bogged down with background noise. But again, I have seven children. In fact, my newborn is only four, he's four weeks old. He was four weeks yesterday. So um, the fact that I can even squeeze in a video is um, quite an accomplishment for me right now. So, all right, let's get back to everything. So these uh, letters are also from a Melissa and Doug puzzle. And if I remember which one it is, I will try to um, leave it, leave the name of it in the description box because this puzzle um, is really neat because it has also has capital and lowercase and they're just hearty letters and they're just different colors and they make it just a lot of fun so there's another example of using um puzzle pieces for your letter manipulatives okay so this next set of letters are letter cubes just like letter dice, I guess you could call them. The vowels are red, consonants are blue, and these are a lot of fun because the kids can just roll them and we can make words. We can use them to specifically, um, you know, if I tell them to make a certain word, they can, you know, use, move the dice, the dice, the dies, the dice, yes. <laughs> I can't even speak. One would be die, more than one is dice. There we go. Um, they can move them to make you know, the words that I asked them to make. This is a capital C, so I was trying to look to see um, if I could find a lowercase c, but here it is. So you get the idea. Um, I have used these in some of my videos before, and uh, I plan to make more videos showing you how we specifically use them. But just to give you another example of some more letters that you could use, these ones are from orientaltrading.com and by the way pretty much all of my letters like even if they're puzzle letters or whatever i for the most part get everything off of amazon but if i didn't get it off amazon i will tell you where i got it and these ones specifically are from oriental trading and they're a lot of fun and there's lots of ways to use them but again i'm not going to go into the ways in this video i just wanted to show you the options that you have okay so another set of letters now this is prop okay probably going to say these are my favorite letters and not because they're anything special because they're not they're actually probably the most boring set of letters that you're going to see um, but I think they're my favorite only because they're so versatile and they're just magnetic letters obviously now there's all sorts of um, magnetic letters out there that you can get this specific set is I love because the consonants are red the vowels are blue so it makes it very clear um, when the children are sounding out their letters and I just, and the, the magnets on them really do tend to hold up pretty well. Um, so I just really like this set. And again, these are from Amazon. Um, and I just, I searched in Amazon. I just typed in magnetic letters. And then I bought the ones that I thought were really, really um, good because they had the blue and the red. And so that's where I got them. I think I got two or three sets of them. So that way I had lots and lots of letters. Uh, for the children to choose from. Now I know I'm going to get comments on these boxes um, and you're going to ask me where did I get these little cases that I'm keeping all my letters in and again those are from Amazon as well. So the cases that these letters are in are also from Amazon. By the way I don't know why I have oh you couldn't even see it okay. I had a I have a little die in here um, that we were using one time and somehow it got stuck in here but uh, that's I don't even know why I'm talking about it. Okay, so the cases, yes. Um, they are also from Amazon. All I did is I did a search for um, case, uh, bead jewelry cases, like for crafting, so bead cases. And uh, these ones came up and they're wonderful. They have slots for all of your letters. And in fact, they have extra slots. So letters that I couldn't you know, necessarily fit in the slot, I put down at the bottom here um, just my little extras and they tend to fit a lot of different sizes and types of letters as you've seen already I've already showed you a handful of them in these boxes so I ordered a ton of these and I just organized all of our letters and it makes it perfect for pulling out when we're ready to do an activity because all of our letters are in alphabetical order and the kids can grab and use the letters 
much faster than if they were just like all in a bag or however they come in their cases because then you're digging for letters and you're looking this way they're all where they're supposed to be so um by the way i am not sponsored by any of these products i am not making any money off of any of these products i do not have an amazon affiliate link or anything so um yeah so if you purchase them i'm not making any money off of them the only thing i make money off of are my activities if you purchase like my curriculum on my store um so just to kind of put that disclaimer out there so i'm giving you my honest opinion that i really really like these ones because they're the most versatile and they're the ones that we use the most um that's why that's the only reason why they're my favorite i, I really like some of my other letters because they're colorful and they're um and you're gonna see they're just you can use them in different ways but these are my favorite only because we use them the most um so there's that all right let's go on all right this set of letters is super fun and i got this set of letters in um an activity i purchased and they came with the activity so let me show you that all right so i purchased this off of amazon it's called magnetic spell and learn and it's just like a little case you can keep things in here actually this is where the letters were so all these letters that are in here they they came in this part and then you can so use these them letters on here came in that little case with that magnetic set and they do have a magnet on the back of them and they like connect together so again if i was going to spell cat they connect let's see if you can see this yeah they connect together whoop, like little puzzle pieces almost and i'm not doing it right there we go just like that so it's kind of fun now the only thing i will say about these letters is they all came um capital letters there's no lowercase so um if your students really need to work on recognizing capital and lowercase and making their words properly with the capital or the lowercase then these are not the letters for you but they are super fun because they connect and it's just something different uh so we do enjoy using these um every once in a while and i'm noticing looking at this that we are missing um a letter m so i don't know where that is so i'm going to have to hunt that down that is one thing that drives me crazy i wonder if it got stuck in n nope one thing that drives me absolutely crazy about um manipulatives for school is that we always lose something and i can't stand it like if something's missing i'm just kind of looking here no nope, i don't see it but anyways hopefully i can track that down so here's another set of letters all right, friends, so um, those of you who have been following me know that lately I've kind of been obsessed with um, these letters. These are stamps, letter stamps, and we love to use them with our stamp pad, but we also love to use them in Play-Doh, and we're, my kids are a little bit obsessed with doing that, and so lately I've been making activities for them to do that. There's a few activities in my phonics program um, that use it. There's a few activities in my ultimate kindergarten bundle and just a few random activities that I've made where we use our stamps in Play-Doh and we make the words or make letters or find the missing letter or whatever. So we do that a lot, but we also use it with a stamp pad as well. You can check out some of my other videos to see how we do it. Um, this particular stamp set is a melissa and doug stamp set and uh it is one of the deluxe stamp sets that comes with the capitals and the lowercase or do they all i know there's two different sets i don't remember which one i have but yeah these ones came with the capital and lowercase they came in a little wooden box but it was hard to get them in and out of the little wooden box and the kids were having a hard time getting them back to where they were supposed to go and then they were getting mixed up and i thought you know what my handy dandy case here it works for all my other letters let's try it for these and it works perfectly for our stamps as well so there's another idea on letter manipulatives that you can use now i did a video a long time ago on these letters these were actually handmade <laughs> by me as you can tell um, i made them a long time ago and these are our lego letters so i just took lego pieces and i wrote letters on all of them um, the taller letters have taller pieces um two four six eight yeah that have eight um and then the smaller letters are on four and i wrote them on the side and then we just make it like this and again i'm going to use my cat example here so c a and get a t here c a t so that is how we put them together and the cool thing about these lego pieces is that 
Uh, they help the students see the letter um, variances. So these letters are smaller. This one is a tall letter. And then like if I was going to do um, a word with, um, how about pat, then you could see a lower case letter. So now you can see all the variances. Can you see that? Let me, uh, it's not focusing. There we go. Um, you can see that this one goes below the line, this one stays on the line, this one goes above the line. So these are good for um, not only making letters and that kind of thing, but um, for handwriting. So anyway, if you're interested in how I made these and more information about these, uh, I will try to find that old video and link it down below in the description box here on YouTube. But uh, it's an old, old video, so um, it's kind of shaky and stuff like that. But if you can hang in there with it, you will be able to see how I made these and some ideas on how we use them. All right, here is a very fun set of letters that my kids love, especially preschoolers. And these are our alphabet robots. So here's the letter A. And these letters, you can turn them into robots. And so if you have boys, girls too, but if you have boys like I do, um, these are like, they have so much fun with these. Even my older boys still, when I pull these out for the little ones, they'll still try to play with them. So there's our little A robot. Okay, that. so these alphabet letters we use for making words and all sorts of things, but also they just love to play with them. And then we say the sound like K says K, K, K. K says K, K. And then we'll turn it into um, the robot, or A says A, A says A, A, K says K, K, D says D, 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 D. And I'll just have them grab one and we'll sing the song. W says W, W, Z says Z, I said my letters A, D, K, W, Z. <laughs> um, yeah, so whatever letters we pick out, and then they'll make them into robots and whatever. So we just, we turn it into games and we also use them with our curriculum as well, especially my new um, hands-on to learn phonics, not phonics, my hands-on to learn preschool curriculum. These um, are nice and big and chunky for the kids to use with that curriculum. I love it because it, it's great. That curriculum is geared towards two and three year olds. So these are great for them. And again, make it fun. If you're working with a two or three year old, you shouldn't be looking at it as school. It should just be fun. So these are um, something that make it more fun and just play because it, you know, learning should be play at that age. All right. Another set of letters that I absolutely love that we do a lot with are these um, alphabet bean bags. And these were from learning resources. And again, I got them off of Amazon. So search for learning resource bean bags and they should come up. The, um, the vowels are red and the consonants again are blue. So I love that. Lots of games you can play with this. You can use them in um, curriculum with your, with your spelling curriculum, with your language curriculum, with your phonics curriculum, all of those things. If you've seen some of my other videos, you've probably seen ways we've used these. If not, check out some of my other activity videos. Um, on my channel, I have um, playlists, but lately I keep forgetting to put my videos on the playlist. Um, but I do have some playlists and some videos are on there. Otherwise, you can kind of search through my, um, my video archive because I have a couple years worth of videos now. So anyways, these are another awesome set. We love these. We toss them back and forth and say the sounds and the letters and we'll um, toss them on the floor like I'll put the uh, whatever the activity is if it's got the picture of the let of the sound we might toss the bean bag on it for example if it's a picture of a bell i'll put the card or whatever it is on the floor and then i'll say okay find the sound for bell he'll find b he'll toss it onto the card and throw it um so again a wonderful one for boys because they love to toss and throw things <laughs> so there you go all right let's get on to another set all right this set here I did a video on these and these um, were sent to me actually. Um, they're not actually letters, supposed to be letters. They're supposed to be building blocks. And they were sent to me by a company called Brain Blocks. And so I did a review on them and in my review, I 
basically uh, showed you how I was going, I made them into alphabet letters that we can make words and do lots of stuff. I will leave a link below to that video if you're interested. But um, there are, I made, I did uh, lowercase letters on the bottom or on one side and then the uppercase letters on the other side. And I just grabbed some letters so I ended up spelling the word bun. But you can see here, um, you can do it like this. You can stack them up and spell your words like this. And I made these myself. So I, I should say I made them myself. The blocks I, were sent to me by Brain Blocks. And then I, I put the letters on there. I, I got letter stickers and I put the letters on there so we could use them. And like, again, I, I made a whole video of these and um, we use them every once in a while for different uh, learning activities. Okay, so I could not end this video without showing you another one of our staples around here, and that are that is our alphabet sticks. Now, if you know me, <clears throat> excuse me, if you know me, we use alphabet sticks a lot, especially for early learning, and um, I have a couple of different sets of them. This set here comes. Well, you can get, actually you get them all in my alphabet stick bundle, but this set here specifically comes in my phonics curriculum. And then these sets are just different sets um, that I had made already. And, and um, I'm not going to go into how we use these because I have lots of videos on how we use these. But again, we love our alphabet sticks and um, some of them have the pictures that match them. And some of them have the just the letters like so okay and we just there are so many activities and things that we do with these um, we use them for memory in the morning we use them for so many things and so again uh, I will actually leave a link to um, a video or two in the description box where you can see how we use these sticks and I will also leave a link to where you can get them off my website if you're interested so um, yeah I'm not gonna, well, I can take some of them out. Some of them are just plain. I told you I have a couple different versions of them. Some of them have pictures. Some of them are only the pictures and then you have to match them up with the letters and so on. So there's lots of different activities that you can do with them. But yeah, we use our alphabet sticks all the time. They're kind of like uh, flashcards in a way, but they also turn everything into a game. <laughs> so, all right guys. That is it. Um, those, that's my alphabet manipulative stash. I hope you enjoyed this video and you will watch again next time and you will subscribe and leave me a comment. Again, if you wanna see my number stash and uh, all of the manipulatives we have for like math number kind of things, uh, let me know in the description box and I'll do a video on that as well. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time guys. Bye.